What's up everybody? Fauna here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're targeting sheep's head. It's that time of year. It's uh, late October and cold front came early. Usually we don't get cold front until like towards the end of uh, November. Water temperature is probably like 60s or 70s. That should get the sheep's head uh, chewing. We got a dozen fiddler crabs, actually a couple dozen fiddler crabs. We're out here at the first spot looking for sheep's head. I didn't see any sheep's head over here, so we're gonna have to go to a different spot. Maybe we'll check the pier, see if there's any sheep's head over there. But uh, hopefully we get on them today. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, we just pulled up to the first spot. We decided to just um, walk the seawall right here and just fish these docks instead of fishing the pier. Because if there's no sheep's head at the pier, then you're out of luck. At least with the docks, you know, you have plenty of docks to, um, to fish. So you have a better chance of uh, finding them. Let's send a first crab down there, see what happens. Mangrove crab, man. The classic sheep's head bait. All right, let's just drop one right next to this piling right here. I don't know if those are mangrove snapper or sheep's head, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, no way. No way. He took it. Sheep's head. Big sheep head. Big sheep head. Oh my god, dude, no way. That's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> Saw him eat it too. That was sick. There you go. Oh, that's a big one. Oh no. Good deal. That's dinner right there. Solid one. First fish of the day. Not bad. There's plenty more. Good stuff, man. He's nice and cold. It's that time of year, man. I'm telling you. Get out there and catch you some sheep's head. All right, we're going to run to the truck and put this guy in the cooler. I should have brought my cooler. Actually, yeah, actually, I'm going to bring my cooler. Be right back, guys. All right, guys. Got the cooler and our sheep's head in here. First one of the day. Bled him. Let's see if we can't get on some more. We should be able to get a couple over here, hopefully. Hopefully I don't jinx myself, but I have no idea what the tide's doing, but they're um seems like they're they're biting, they're chewing. So let's put another crab on the hook and send him down there. That was fun, man. Sheep's head can be fun. Especially when they're that size. I don't care what any what anybody says. They're fun fish to catch. All right, let's put a fillet crab on this time. Last time, we got them with the, uh, the mangrove crab. Good looking bait, man. We're just freelining today. 20 pound leader, um, 10 pound braid, light tackle, 3000 size reel. Man, they are all over this dock. Oh my goodness, man. That was a good hit too. Oh, that was a... That was a mango bite. All right, guys, I completely jinxed myself. We're gonna have to go to a different dock and uh, try our luck, try our luck elsewhere. Cause I have not gotten a bite in like 20 minutes. So let's make a move. All right, guys, we're at a new spot now. Let's see if we can, uh, see if we can get a sheep head right here. Not seeing them though, but that doesn't mean they're not down there. Send the crab out there. This might be a little bit challenging because that wind is like right in our face. Here we go. Ooh, there's two right here. Two big ones right here. Two big ones right here. Let's see if they'll bite. They saw me at first and then they swam out a little bit, probably a couple foot away from uh, 
the spot where I saw them. But let's see if they'll hit this crab because I, I tossed that crab like way out there and reeled it into them. I doubt that. Oh, oh my goodness. What was that? That was definitely not a sheep head bite. Yeah, once they see you, it's game over. I'm convinced that once they once they see you, they will not bite. Good looking, uh, good looking crab right there. Let's see if we can whack a sheep head. Guy small. Little guy. Nice. Man, this guy's bleeding like crazy. Little dude, probably probably eleven inches. Well that was cool. There's some more down there. Let's see if we can uh get another one here. So much fun, man. Oh yeah, they're loaded over there. Let's see. Oh, one ate it. He slurped it up instantly. That's a, that's a better one. It's a better one. <laughs> yes, sir. That's a keeper all day. That is a 12 incher. Got him right on the corner of the mouth. Good deal. Let's put him in the box. There's a lot more down there, and there's still a few really nice sized ones. Right at the same spot where I caught the uh, the, the the other two. They're still there, man. I'm surprised they're not spooked. But hey. I am not complaining. I will stand here and catch them all day long. They're not that big, but uh, they're fun sized. Oh man, that was another another good one. Oh, good one, good one, good one. I had to put some heat on him. He's trying to get me in the in the, the piling. Oh yeah. Look at the color on this guy. Cool looking color. A little darker. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good sheep's head right there. Just right off the seawall. You can't beat that, man. Can't beat it. So much fun to catch. Good eating too. Alright. Three in a box so far. Let's see how many we, we can catch. Um, we still have like a little over a dozen crab left, so I gotta use them all up. Good deal. That's gonna be a wrap. I have like seven minutes left on that um, on the the camera. We're just gonna finish up the rest of the uh, the bait we have left in this bucket. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, there will be more sheep set fishing videos in the near future, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next week.